If you're watching this, I hope you're a Pro Tools user because we're gonna show you how to save and send a Pro Tools session to somebody else in today's video. Let's go. Are you an artist, producer, engineer, or music professional that's looking for funding for your music career? Could you benefit from having funding for studio time, mixing and mastering, or even marketing costs? I think I have something for you. I've written a free ebook, it's nine pages, super short and digestible, where I break down the six main places that artists and professionals like yourself can find funding for their musical projects. If this sounds like it's of value to you, please click the link below and you can download this for free today and benefit from this knowledge. I hope this helps. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Five. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Five Piece Producer and Engineer Extraordinaire. Thank you for checking out this video. And if you haven't already, please hit the bell and the subscribe button below to stay tuned for more helpful videos. I got a lot of videos focused on Pro Tools, but also focused on other things such as how to record, how to mix, and how to find money for your music. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to save and send a Pro Tools session to one of your compadres. So let's jump into Pro Tools and I'll show you how to do it. Sending a Pro Tools session to another engineer or a person who's gonna be using Pro Tools to work on the song is really, really easy. They made it really easy for us to do this. All you gotta do is go to the top left when you're in Pro Tools and hit File. From there, you're gonna to go to Save Copy In. We're gonna click this and it's gonna bring open this menu. Now, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that your session parameters are the same as you have them, which they should automatically be. In my case, this session is a 48K session, 24-bit bit depth, and I've been using WAV files this whole time, so this stuff should be stuff you don't need to change. The session format, I'm gonna leave it as latest. If you're sending it to somebody who's on an older version of Pro Tools, you will need to adjust this, and depending on which version you're on, you may have some different options, but latest is usually pretty good. Most people are on 10 or later. And the most important thing you need to do here is make sure you click on audio files. Now this is important because if you just if you didn't click this and you send it, the audio files won't come with it, or it'll just pull from whatever's in the session already. And some of the audio files you have may have been imported from other locations and it just gets a little tricky. So you wanna make sure you include the audio files so that way the person can open up the session and have everything just there laid out exactly as you previously left it. So I'm gonna click audio files. This other stuff is really not as important. I'm not sending a movie. You know, I don't need to really worry about this other stuff. Audio files is the most important. I'm gonna click okay. And it's gonna say, where do you wanna save this now? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my desktop in this particular case, and I'll just name the song, right? And I'll hit save, and then it'll you'll see it doing what it needs to do. It's just copying all the files, making sure everything works. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this session and reopen it from my desktop to show you that it's basically the same. So take a quick look here, you see, all kinds of audio files. This is a clean session, so should be pretty straightforward. If I close this, this is the file I just created. And you can see I open up the audio files. You see there's all kinds of audio files in here, so everything is copied over. I can now open the session. And I recommend doing this just to double check. It never hurts, right? and boom, the session looks exactly the same. So I recommend doing it this way with the file, save copy in and selecting audio files as opposed to just copying the folder once again from where you have it, because again, you may be missing certain files and things of that nature, and that'll be problematic because when that person goes to open it, they're gonna get an error message saying all kinds of stuff is missing and you'll be scratching your head trying to figure out how to fix the problem. Do it this way and save yourself all the time and effort in the world. Once you've saved the session, as I just showed you, you're gonna go back to that location that you saved it at. In this case, it's on my desktop. And you're gonna to wanna to compress that file. Compressing the file is gonna just reduce the size and keep it in one nice and contained file as opposed to a folder, which has 
you know, subfolders underneath it and et cetera. That makes it more challenging to send around. But once this file is done being compressed, I'm going to open up a browser and I'm going to send this file via WeTransfer or another service, pCloud, et cetera, depending on the size, to the person that wants the session. So now that I got the file compressed, I can open up WeTransfer or another file service, whatever you prefer. You could drag it on there, type in the person that you want to send it to, and then I could just transfer it, right? And then they can download this file, open it up, get everything that they need from it, and ultimately work on the project. And there you have it, super simple and easy way to send a Pro Tools session. I like doing it this way and using WeTransfer, but you can send it via whatever service makes sense for you. If you got value out of this video, please like, subscribe, and share once again. Share with your friends, your producer friends, artist friends, anybody you know who needs to transfer sessions between one another. And again, check out those other videos on my channel so you can get some more intel. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Five.